So what do you think about the bill which would ban female transgender athletes from competing in women's high school sports? Go ahead and text us your feelings, 602-444-1212. It's one step closer to becoming a law this morning after clearing the House on Tuesday. First, though, a little background. It's called the Save the Women's Sports Act, and it was authored by Representative Nancy Barto. It, it's basically a response to a pair of trans athletes in Connecticut, their story getting national attention because of their prowess competing against high school girls in track and field. Now, on Facebook, Barto says... Women's opportunities for which they have fought hard for for the last 50 years are being destroyed because the playing field they fought to level is now uneven again. Even an average male can crush a female athlete. It's unfair and unsafe, Bartow said on Facebook. But protesters of the bill say otherwise. This bill is a horrible example of government overreach. It's incredibly intrusive into the lives of Arizona families, especially Arizona's children, and it's harmful to transgender people in general. These kind of bills send a message to trans kids especially, who are at a much higher risk of suicide than cisgender kids, that says you are not deserving and you don't belong here. And we want Arizona's trans kids to know they are deserving, they do belong here, and we're f here to fight for their rights. All right, so we have been asking you this morning to weigh in, and here's what some of you are saying. It's horrible. Live and let live, Brianne says. And Andrew says, it absolutely should be that way. If you were born a man, then you shouldn't be able to hit from the ladies' tees. Sorry, not sorry, Andrew says. This one is certainly polarizing, as we have seen so many different opinions uh, back and forth on this one. Um, try and keep it civil on there on Facebook this morning. But... Yeah, we're getting a lot of comments on this, and, and there's, you know, reasonable arguments on both sides. Yeah, I think people are very passionate on both sides for sure, and I have a hard time with this one. It's not clear-cut, um, in my opinion, so it's one of those things that it's a watch and wait for me because it's I empathize with both sides, to be honest. Yeah, so now it goes to the Senate. We'll see what happens when it gets there and continue to weigh in. Let us know how you feel, 602-444-1212. Got your text. Reading them right here, so let us know.